Help save the butcher! Help save the butcher! Hi, this is Bob from HelpSaveTheButchers.com and today I'm going to show you how to slice a whole boneless top sirloin. Top sirloin is cut from the loin, which means as a steak it could be a good grilling steak and a broiling steak, but it also makes a great oven roast. And I'm going to show you how to cut it as roast and steak today. And if you're not an experienced butcher and you're going to slice this at home, this is probably the easiest way to cut it. There's two ends to the top sirloin. This is the round end and it's the larger end as you can see. This end here is the loin end and probably the little bit tender end. As we used, when I was young and first started cutting meat, this used to be referred to as the shortcut rump steak, the tenderest pot, and we'd take that home for my grandmother to eat. So we're gonna take the sirloin, we're gonna face it in front of you, and the pot we're gonna cut the roast from is this section here, the solid side, and you can see how the muscles separate each other with the piece of fat. We're going to use the solid side of this for a roast. We're going to turn it around first though. We're going to show you the sinew that's on top. And this is where it attaches to the bone. I'm going to take the point of my knife and I'm going to remove this sinew so that way there it doesn't end up affecting the flavor of the roast or the tenderness of it or the steaks. Just stick the point of the knife underneath the sinew, go in both directions, lift it up, also on the side here, and just take that off. Now we're not going to remove the excess fat yet for the steaks. We're going to do that after because it's easier to trim it after and you won't be taking off any extra meat with the fat that way. On the front here, if there's any pieces sticking out for nerve or anything or fat, we're going to take that off. We're going to decide how big of a roast we want, how many people we're feeding. Normal rule of thumb is anywhere between a half, three quarters to a pound per person depending on your family and how much they like to eat meat and how many if you're serving children or you're serving all adults. We're going to take off probably about a three and a half to four pound piece. It's a nice easy cut, one cut all the way down. Ends up with a piece of meat that's easy to roast as a whole piece. It doesn't have to be tied. If you have any excess fat on the outside, you can trim it off at this point, but you don't really need to. When you cook it, cook it fat side up so the fat will melt into the roast. Okay, like that. There's your roast. You're going to cook it like that in a pan. Now we're going to take this, we're going to start slicing the steaks from the round end of the top sirloin. We're going to even it off so we make sure our steaks are even. I recommend these steaks about an inch and a quarter to make sure that they don't dry out. I'm going to start cutting them an inch and a quarter. I'm going to measure off on here and we're going to let the knife do the work. Here's our first top sirloin steak. And our second. Now if you were to cut a full cut top sirloin steak, it would be a little bit harder to slice if you're inexperienced, but also the serving size would be really big. Now when you get down near the end, you have to decide how many steaks you're going to cut. We could take this here and we can cut four steaks out of it, which is what I'm going to do, but if you want to go thicker, you can go thirds. Make a little mark on top of the meat, make a decision before you slice so you can keep your steaks even. And the last cut. Now as I said, it's much easier to trim these steaks after than it is ahead. You don't want to cut into it. And we're just going to take off any excess fat around the outside of this. If there's any nerve or anything on the end, it would be right here on the tip and that's where you should take it off from. It's a nice short cut piece. If you want, you can wedge this and this would be where the nerve is on the end if there is any piece there. Now if you shop a store with a butcher in it, which I hope everyone's doing, if they're selling these pieces, I'm sure they'll be glad to cut it for you. But if you want to try it yourself at home, this piece is probably a little bit more challenging than most pieces, but it can be done. Nice and simple. There we go. There's a value to buying whole primals. Usually the price per pound is cheaper than buying the individual steaks. And today the primals come through what's called XT, extra trim. That way there, there's not as much waste on them. There we go. We have seven boneless sirloin steaks. 
A nice boneless sirloin spoon roast, as we call it. It's tender as can be. Great eating oven roast. This is Bob for HelpSaveTheButchers.com. And don't forget, buy fresh cut meat just like your mom did.